Hey folks, just going to go ahead and highlight the uh, G02, G03 commands, um, going, doing our circular interpolations and comparing them with G17, 18, and 19. So on the control, I went ahead and just typed in a, somewhere here, hopefully it remembers, there it is. So I typed in a quick little program in MDI, just having it go. Um, down to a certain height. I just put it to a Z of two inches. I didn't know how big these tools were going to be. I just wanted to make sure it was well above our G54 offset. So I just put two inches for our, our initial Z height. So then notice here on the very the first safety line how we have G17. So that's going to enact our XY plane uh, for circular interpolations. And so going down here where we do our first G2 move, I'm having to go over four inches, it starts at zero. I'm going over four inches on X. So that's a half an arc. The radius of which is two inches in the positive X direction at a certain feed rate. And then I have it going back to zero, reflecting the, the distance to the center point is negative two inches on X. And so that G02 should go ahead and um, create our uh, circular arc <clears throat> and our X um, uh, X Y plane that G17 plane that we've defined but which way is this clockwise or counterclockwise so typically you're looking down at your X Y plane so you're looking down negative Z <laughs> direction and you interpret that as uh, clockwise G02 move so to compare that, I put a G3 uh, command, G03, have it do the same circle. So this should go through the same exact coordinates, but it should do so in a counterclockwise fashion. And then let's come down here and we can go ahead and see I've separated out. Now I move to a G18. So here I'm gonna go to a Z position, four inches up. And um, K, it's gonna be a two inch radius circle. But this is XZ, so this should be coming up and over. And you see the G02, you're like, yeah, it should be going positive or, or, or clockwise direction. But it's not going to. It's going to go counterclockwise because we're viewing, if I get my little triad here, <laughs> we're viewing that G18 along the positive Y axis. So really the right way, if we want to compare it to how we looked at G17, is we should look at it from the negative y-axis point of view. And that's like being behind your part looking back at you or a mirror reflection. And so you're going to like, even though G2 is, should be a clockwise move, um, it's only going to look clockwise if you're looking into the negative y direction. So that would be from behind the machine looking at you this way. <laughs> and finally, that G3 is just going to do the opposite. It should be counterclockwise as viewed in a mirror reflection. And then I went ahead and compared it to G19. Again, if we're looking down the negative X, so if we're standing on the side of like this robot looking into the machine, then we would see uh, it trace out a clockwise circle and then I have it doing a counterclockwise circle. Um, so let's have a go run through all these. Let me just hit rewind. Rewind on there. Um, yeah, all right, here we go. Let's hit the cycle start button. Watch it go through its motions. <clears throat> tracing out, as viewed from the top, that's tracing out a clockwise circle. Now it's gonna go G3, counterclockwise circle, as viewed from the top. Now, you're going to see it start doing a G18 clockwise circle as viewed from behind. <laughs> That's a counterclockwise circle as viewed from behind. So this is that one where it's like reverse. And then here's our G19. That's a G02, but you have to be from the perspective on the side. When they're looking that way, that was clockwise, and then this would be counterclockwise. It's, you know, it's easier on the... Uh, the YZ plane to picture how that looks. And uh, let's go ahead and just run it one more time. 
Oh, I have to hit rewind. That should do it. So there are G17, G02, now it's G03, clockwise, counterclockwise. There's our clockwise as viewed from behind, and our counterclockwise viewed from behind, that's G18. And our G19 plane, clockwise, and then counterclockwise if you're standing on the right looking down the negative X. All right. Clear as mud, right? <laughs>